Hi guys, welcome to my channel. If your dream is to become a data scientist or a data analyst, then cracking the SQL interview is a very important stage for attaining your dream. Myself, I'm Malu Prasad. I'm a mentor for data science and analytics. I can help you overcome this obstacle by explaining all the various questions asked in SQL interview rounds in top companies which are available at the LeetCode platform. All my code solutions for the questions asked in LeetCode are available in my GitHub repository. The solution for that is available in the chat description below. In addition to that, I have also segregated my video playlist into five different categories. Depending upon the hardness of the question into easy, medium, hard, only the premium subscription questions of lead code into premium playlist and all the 230 questions ordered by serial number wise into one single playlist. Let's see the question which we are trying to solve it today. The question which we are trying to solve it today is type medium question number 0574 winning candidate. Let's see the question. Okay, 0754. Okay, they have given a candidate name. Okay, his ID, candidate ID, and what is his particular name, and ID will be unique for everything. Okay, vote ID and candidate. Okay, it means a candidate is there. Whoever has voted for him, his ID will be there. Voter ID. Write an SQL query to report the name of the winning candidates, that is, candidate who got the largest number of votes. Okay. The test case are generated so that exactly one will win the election. Okay. So there will be one. Let's see this table. Okay, if you see candidate table is connected to vote table. Okay, how they are saying here candidate ID is ID and vote table ID is candidate ID. Okay, you can see candidate one, his name is A. For candidate uh, one, nobody has voted. If you see zero votes for him. Okay, zero votes. Let's see for B. If you see B, B candidate ID is 2, 2, 2, okay, 2 persons have voted for him, voter 1 and voter 4, okay, and there is this thing, name, 3, how many people have voted for him, voter ID 3 has voted for him, let's see D, D is 4, only one voter name 2 has voted, and again let's see E, 5, you can see only 5 has 1 order named 5. Okay. If you see A has 0 orders, B has B has 2 orders, C has 1 order, D has 1 order, E has 1 order. So among them B is having the highest number of orders. Okay. Simply what they are trying to do is they are trying to do this ID and candidate ID inner join. Okay, they're trying to do that in a join. Wherever they're matching, there'll be connections will be there. After that, what we need to do, we need to group by name and need to see how many number of people have voted for them. We need to count it. Join these two tables, group by this name and let's count it. Okay, highest will be what? The highest number. So, we will order by this count and we will take the topmost one. I will write it. Let's first write this one. Select candidate A. Sorry, this is a from table from candidate A in our join vote table B on A dot ID equal to candidate uh, ID. Okay, it should be small c. Let's join this table first of all.
here you can see uh, A has no connection so it is not showing if you see 2B has 1 2 and 2B has 4 2 can you see this yeah and this is this thing okay similarly for 3 C there is 3 3 3 3 4 D where is 4 2 here 4 D 4 2 5 B 5 5 is there 5 B 5 A okay now we got it now if you see we need to group by this name for B how many words are there first row fourth row D one row C one row E one row now what I will do I will group by name and I will select only name and how many rows are there for each name okay let's run it here you can see right B is there D is there C is there E is there okay now let's call it as some table with CTE let's call it as some table okay now from this table what I want from CT table I want order by C CT let's say descending okay then 2 will come first 1 1 1 so on I want the highest so I will order by I will limit only one thing okay let's see See, only the top one has came but we don't want all the columns we want only name column it got accepted let's submit it yes our problem has been successfully accepted by the lead code platform thanks for watching my video if you want more detailed explanations like this please subscribe to my channel and share it with your friends who are preparing for data analyst or a data scientist interview just be disciplined, try to complete all the 230 questions which are available in the platform. Achieve your dream job one day by practicing every day. Thank you very much. This is Samuel Prasad signing off.